shameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless Welcome I'm back then guys, the here is EW, what the age and Turbo Turbo's been working, we've been working as well to be honest with you But, uh, probably not as hard as him This two guys, Harvey's on, where you going man? So, um, I'm going to get this camera turned around because I want to show you what it is that I've done on the FN2 so far and what is happening next in today's video. So, let me get this camera turned. So, here we have the FN2 and to be honest with you, I'm going to be the cameraman and I'm going to stick it on H right now because he was the only one that was here. We've been working on that car yesterday, right? Okay. So, what have we done? What did we do? We took the back bumper off. We took, uh, we put the that diffuser back in. As so, you can see. that diffuser was all away from the car. So this complete back bumper came off. Obviously, we still have our damage on that diffuser, and we still have a parking sensor missing, and we have some lack appeal. But we don't have the. It's not missing. It's inside. We got the. Uh, we need to source one of these things. What do you call them? Housings. Huh? I would say housings. just an auto ring in it. Yeah, just one of them and then the center. We need one of them because the center is actually behind there. Yeah, you're right. Um, what else did we do to this? Front bumper. So on the front end. Just sort it a bit at this side. Make it a little bit, a bit more neater. Okay. So into the body, didn't we? So the bonnet was lifted from here, innit? The bonnet was lifted, but now it's nice and flat, but the bonnet does be changing because of that dent. Obviously, the bumper itself, it could do with the respray. Um, when we disconnected this bumper and we took it off, uh, we found that there is a, a bracket that runs across uh, there, which was bent on this side, and also on that side it was bent. So I think what we're going to be doing is First of all, see if we can, how much it's going to cost to repair this bumper, respray it. We've already sourced some parts for it. We've sourced some parts for the back as well, so a new back bumper rather than getting it sprayed. But let's see what the body shop says. But that's how this is looking at the moment. And we did wash it. And we did go out and do some power runs in it. Didn't we? Good ones. But what huh? happened after we washed it? What power runs? Some serious power runs. <laughs> So obviously we do know that is a low mileage car. Everything is working as it should. It drives like a dream. VTEC kicks in like a dream. Uh, it is a pretty good, nice looking FN2. GT spec, LSD. Um, I've just drove it to work as well. And it's looking boom. But that is for that for now. We're not focusing on that anymore. But what we are gonna be focusing on is that E39. Yeah? Yes. Why? Get ready for the show. Yes. Mm. Tell me, what's going on, man? Why are you so far away? Admiring Share some love, mate. Admiring the Honda. Admiring the Honda. There's Turbo's <laughs> Honda right there. What's up with Turbo's Honda? Turbo's Honda. Take it to the front. Huh? Take it to the front. What's he doing? So, Turbo's Honda has had. A little okay, so montage, I'll do a montage. Daddy! <laughs> and it's probably by one of those birds up there somewhere. Yeah, but, but bird shit is a good sign, isn't it? Probably up there somewhere. So, unfortunately, if that bird shit was on there last night when we were on some power runs, maybe this EP3 would have been on another level, but I gotta give it, EP3s are bad. But I still like that frog over there. The frog. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I had a frog, uh, well it wasn't a frog, I had a toad. Not a frog actually, sorry a toad. I'd say probably a toad. We had a toad, remember in Morocco? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's two toads that these two terrorized the life out of. <laughs> they were fully messing around with these little toads. That, no, not toads. Turtles. Turtles. Yeah. turtles. So there's a couple of turtles. Obviously these boys went with the flow because obviously they couldn't remember what the name was itself. But anyway. There's my little turtle, toad, whatever you want to call it over there. I like it. On with you. So, let's carry on with this then. So for this, guys, we have a bumper, which is in the back of the Type R. It's already in there. 
we fitted that and this car is hopefully going to be going to the body shop so i spoke to the body shop yes uh last week on sunday to say am i bringing it in on monday and he says oh he didn't book it in so i says make sure we get it booked in for this monday we finished work we're going to shoot down there nice weather boom blingy 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 weather oh yeah nice weather let's get this uh beast down there let's get it checked out we've shown the bumper showing what we got uh obviously on here we all know that we are getting the back bumper sorted out the boot sorted out the damage that was caused on there and the boot got a little bit of rust quarter panels got a bit of rust which we already showed you as well front lip is being damaged we're getting the front done anyway because the bonnet has a bit of a, uh, a fade on it and we're getting the moldings done so this car will be looking tip top when it comes out so let's get it down there and we'll see you in a bit there we go there we go okay. right here we are so i'm safe sorry mate da, 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 da. i'm safe now you know what i love this car man this is a bad car <laughs> So as you guys know, this ain't, you know, mechanically anything special, engine-wise, it is just a 25, 525, but it's been with us for so long, you know, I absolutely love it. Inside this car is next level, so this car has had a full interior overhaul, so the seats have been fully polished and repaired and whatever, and done in its time. Uh, the, also at the inside of the car we've got uh, a mono block 2000 watt amplifier with some um, uh, a jbl 15 inch 1500 watt whatever duh, duh, duh. so but the the main things it is fully sandproofed inside and we have some i think the high phonics or jbls the complete door speakers tweeters it sounds bad you know there was something that this car was lacking and that was bluetooth once upon a time it did have a nokia bluetooth in it but uh, obviously it got damaged that's it is that a family i think it's a family any i think it is <laughs> family not giving me away yeah all right don't worry next time they come to me if you're watching this video that was you zed you know who you are and you're watching this video that was you said you did not give me way but next time you got a problem with your car don't worry i'll sort it out for you oh no what going with the traffic here go on. okay while we're here then so we you know about e39 everyone knows about e39s man e39s are the solidest bmw they've ever created bang on car other than my e36 e39 is a bad boy if i was to go from anything from a e39 and say the next sort of roughy tufty car i would say e46 because they are still pretty good they are pretty roughy tufty they've still got metal panels whereas the new ones that i've had they're plastic panels mental and even the new ones that i haven't had they're plastic panels they're all plastic panels that's an e46 huh what's the e46 e46 is that convertible i had remember gray one Oh yeah, 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 that was a 325 CIM Sport convertible, 56 plate, the very last one that came off the track. I'm showing you guys what it's all about. Uh, I probably would have still kept that car because I like my E46 convertible. Unfortunately, I couldn't get an M3. It was too expensive at the time for me, and now it's even more expensive. Maybe one day in the near distance future, we will see. But we were out last night, and we had some fun. EP3 Type R has brought some memories back for me so I decided to go FN2 Type R as well to have a bit more fun <laughs> easy cousin how you doing? Andy <laughs> Andy obviously we're in the hood but what fun we had man obviously Wachter has got a lot of driving skills underneath his belt his foot, his hands. Uh, unfortunately, my eyes are not what they used to be. So I only can take myself to a limit, but I think it was a good enough limit. Yep. 
100%. I don't really want to tell you guys about what happened with the EP3 race because I have raced him. We've actually raced a few times because that's a video that I want to show you guys what happens when Wacht is in the FN2 and Turbo is in the EP3. And then I want to show you when Wacht is in the EP3 and Turbo is in the FN2 because we didn't get to do that with the Golf because it ended up selling it. So we will sooner or later because before that video comes, there's another special video that we've done which will be coming to you the week after this probably video. Uh, and that video is going to be based all around a new little whip that BM Foodie has bought and he's asked me to... If you follow him then you know... Yeah, well obviously if you if you follow BM Foodie, if you don't get onto his channel, shout him out. Um, Bham Foodie, so B-H-A-M Foodie. Um, if you go onto his channel and stuff obviously you'll know what car he's bought. And that car is the one that we've reviewed. Uh, I've had a go of it, I've never drove something like that before and that sort of fun time is coming next week. I'll show you that next week. But for now, E39, garage, traffic, children, take it easy, peace out. So guys, here we are, we just dropped off the 5 Series, it's over there. My man Chris that's working at the back over there, he is the guy that's dealing with it. But I just want to show you the place that I'm going to be dealing with, with this one. Uh, we've got KCB uh, body repairs and these guys you can find them on Google, they're in Tysley area, um, not too far from the cousin's um, shop on Warwick Road, so if you know it, cousin's shop on Warwick Road is the alleyway, uh, you've got to come through the alleyway and all the way to the bottom and you've got this Unit 50 in KCB, so M5, M7 whip, my whip is in and it's going to take about a week, can't wait until it's done. But that is all we have for this video, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to be starting some work on a E36 um, on, on M5 Loud. So that's something that we're going to be working on after today. Um, and we're going to get that into a body shop. So yeah, all thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and yeah, please subscribe, like and share. Help us out. My man Turbo and H is still here. Obviously we've got another good video here as well. But okay. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possible.